In this video, I will show you how to install Reshade in 5M. I will show you how to unblock it, how you can edit your server file to show Reshade in 5M. Also, I will show you in-game some presets that I use. I'll show you how to edit them. And lastly, I'll show you how to save a preset. So let's get started. make this all work we're gonna go ahead and visit the link in the description that will lead you towards my discord server once verified you are going to the section called links and resources go over to 5m graphics and we're gonna go to number three here we'll have the links now keep in mind we also have an installation service for any of you that are too lazy we will install it for you remotely now let's get back to links and resources and click on the first link this is going to be the first link. We're going to go ahead and download Reshade. And now we're going to open it up. Then you're going to search for your game file. So mine is going to be here. Make sure you know where yours is. Let's go ahead and select this file right here. Click on next. Make sure this is selected, number 10, 11, and 12. Hit next. Here you can select a preset if you've already downloaded one. If not, then you can just hit next like I do. And here, make sure to uncheck all and check all again. So all the presets are installed. Let's hit next. And now it's gonna go ahead and download all the files. Now we can click on finish and let's go ahead and open up our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder and our 5M application folder. You can open up your 5M by searching 5M, right clicking on it, open file location, right clicking on it again, open file location again and double click on application data. Here you'll have to create a folder called plugins if you don't have one already. And now let's open up our game directory folder. On the left side, we have our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder. On our right side and on our left side, the 5M application plugins folder. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to select this one right here. Right click on it. Hit properties. Go to compatibility. Make sure to check run this program in Windows 7. Hit apply. Hit OK scroll a bit down same goes for this right here right click on it hit properties and go to compatibility make sure to check run this program in windows 7 hit apply and hit ok now we're gonna go and copy some folders and files the first one is gonna be this one right here the second one is going to be this right here. And we're just going to go a bit more down and select a few more files. Bear with me. Oh, this one we don't need to select. Uh, we're going to select this, this, and this right here. Now we can zoom out. And we have five files selected. Copy them and paste them right here. And now we are practically done. Let's go ahead and start up. 5M. So we're a step further, but we're not done yet. Uh, there are two things you need to check. When you get in the game, you're not getting the notification like I am. That means it's not installed fully yet. You're going to hit F8 on the keyboard. And here you're going to see a line. It's going to say you need to add if it's blocked currently. If you want to load it anyways, add the following section. To this file right here citizenfx.ini and you have to add these two lines but the id needs to be your code so i'm just going to copy my id there you go make sure to do the same with your id and the second thing before we get out is we're going to go to settings we're going to go to game make sure to uncheck this this is not supposed to be checked or else it won't work. It will still get blocked. So uncheck it like I have. 
get out of the game. Now go back to the application data folder. Here you'll see this file. We'll go back to Discord. Here we're gonna paste in the code. You make sure you note it somewhere else. I'm just gonna copy these two lines. Go ahead and copy it. Paste it right here. And the only thing you're gonna change is where it says your ID. I'm gonna copy this. Select your ID exactly like how you see it here. Your ID. Paste it. Make sure there's no two spaces, only one, like this. Now you can select this and copy it. Now you can go to your application folder. Go to this file right here. You open it up. Select this. Hit enter. Enter again and paste what you just typed in. Now you can go ahead and save it and close it and start up 5M. And now which would work. It's load everything up. And now let's wait for some time to make it all fully loaded. As you can see, it's fully loaded and now you can hit the home button and you can go ahead and follow the tutorial if you want. And now you have your settings, your reshade. You can go to settings and the first thing if you want to do is you can change the home button to something else. I'm going to set it to end because the home button in my server is already set to something. Now we can escape. As you can see, the game is fully loaded up and let's walk through a few of my favorite presets. It's going to be blooming HDR. It's going to make the colors more intense. You can go ahead and change the settings as you please right here. For instance, the gamma. You can make it higher or lower. You can add more contracts to it. And it will also save for you. And here you have much more settings that you can play with and save it. Make sure auto save is on. And you can also save here. Let's go to the second one just for your own sense. You can see the difference right here. That's pretty awesome. All the way down, we we'll also have this one, Port HDR, which I also pretty much like. Again, you can change any setting you want right here and see the difference for yourself. And lastly, this one right here, Technicolor 2. I really like this one too. See the difference on, off, and on. Again, you have the option to change any setting you want there. For instance, the brightness, saturation, and the strength. Don't forget to say save, and that's how you save it. That being said, we're coming to an end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button, leave me some feedback, and thank you all for watching. Have a good day, and goodbye.